Okay, we've got a question here about asymptotes. And first of all, we've got to decide where this thing crosses the axes. So for our first part, point A. Across the x-axis when y equals 0. And that happens when 2x minus 3 over x minus 3 equals 0. We're interested in when the numerator is 0. Denominator is never going to make this 0. So 2x minus 3 is the thing that needs to be 0. And so x equals 3 over 2. That gives me point A. 3 over 2, 0. Point B, what I know about point B is that the x coordinate is 0 because it crosses the y axis. If that's true, y equals, put 0 in here, minus 3 over minus 3, 1, and so we've got point B, 0, 1. Next thing, asymptotes parallel to the y-axis. Now that's a vertical asymptote. And to spot a vertical asymptote, we need to look for a denominator to be equal to 0. Look at the denominator, see when it's 0, and we'll pretty much decide that that's when x is 3. I can see that there. And parallel to the y, we look for very large values of x to find these. Now, very large values of x. So when x becomes very large, 2x minus 3 over x starts to look like 2x over x. Say that again, 2x minus 3 over x minus 3 starts to look like 2x over x. Minus 3 minus 3 make no difference for very large values. And we can see this is going to start approaching the value of 2. So y will start to look like 2. y equals 2 will be the horizontal asymptote. Sketch, right, let's see. Sketch, we've got to be a bit careful with these. When we sketch things, we um, need to make sure that we are not being too casual, but we don't want to plot. Sketch is not a plot. Let me put the asymptotes on. Now that's at about 3, and that's at about 2. And if we've been asked to work things out, then they need to go on the sketch. So we know that's at 2, we know that's at 3. And because we know A and B, we know where it crosses the axes, I know that... Let's try that again, a bit wobbly. We know that... And a bit wobbly again. You can see this is going to take some time. There we go. There's the first part and the second part there. Approaching the asymptotes, and we've got a value of 1 there and 3 over 2 here, 1.5. So roughly, we've got it looking like that. Heading towards the asymptotes, but not touching, not crossing. There's our sketch. Normal. Equation of a normal. Now let's get myself a little bit of room here. If I want an equation of a normal, one of the things that I've got to figure out is I've got to figure out a gradient, and I've got to figure out a point. I've got a point B. So normal at B. Got a point, I need my gradient. I need a dy dx, and for that I'm going to use the product, uh, the quotient rule. I've got a quotient here, so u 2x minus 3 v du dx is 2, dv dx is 1, and using the quotient rule dy dx, v du dx, minus u dv dx. My uh, 
my pen's doing weird things at the moment. There we go. U dv dx over v squared. I could sort this out, but because I know I'm going to put a value in, I'm just going to put the value straight in. So when x equals 0, dy dx is minus 6 plus 3 over 3 squared, minus 3 over 9, that is minus 1 third. Now the normal, of course, this is the gradient of the tangent, so gradient for normal will be equal reciprocate, 1 over that, change the sign, and then the equation of the normal, we just slot it into the general straight line equation, because we have a point, we have a gradient, point naught one. Gradient 3 and y equals 3x plus 1 is my normal. And finally, crosses the curve again. We need to find its coordinates. I think I'm going to need more room. Let me Eliminate all that hard work for a second. The normal has got to equal the curve. Simultaneous equation. ourselves a quadratic factorize. Now we know x equals 0, that was point B anyway, so we don't need to worry about that one. Uh, the one we want is when this bracket equals 0 for the other point, which is x equals 10 over 3, 3 and a third, and I think the x coordinate is all we need. There's our question finished.